take the thing that you love to do, figure out a way to make money, and that's how you're happy. You hear that all the time. I don't think that's true. Let's talk about it. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Oh, it's raining. I'm a little free. All right. Thank you, Bernard. I'm alive. That's a good sign. Welcome back to another episode. If you don't know, I'm Jamie Cassup, and on this channel, we talk about career, education, life as we're traveling around the world. And today, I bring you to Montana. I don't want to use a Game of Thrones reference, but I'm driving up to the wall tomorrow. That kind of idea, the, the, the find the thing you love to do. I love, 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 love to sit on a couch, eat Ben and Jerry's ice cream with whipped cream and nuts and watch Game of Thrones. My favorite thing to do. How do I make money doing that? Oftentimes the things that we love to do, we love doing them because they're not work. And I totally get that you want to find something that doesn't feel like work, but just picking the thing that you love to do might not be good enough. And so I have a different angle on it. I think that you should pick the thing you're passionate about. Because sometimes the thing that you're passionate about is really hard. The thing that you really care about, the thing that you want to fix, the problem that you want to solve could be painful, could be so hard, no one in their right mind would try to solve it. That doesn't sound fun. And I bring this up because I'm sitting here in a Best Western, in Boisman, Montana, on Super Bowl Sunday, where the temperature is one. The temperature is one. And I'm gonna watch the Super Bowl on this 32 inch flat screen television at home. I have a beautiful television. My TV is so badass. I love my television. I never watch it, but I love it for special occasions like this, where I can sit down in front of my giant screen to watch the Super Bowl. But no, I'm here in Boisman, Montana, because tomorrow I'm speaking at an event and I have an opportunity to change some minds passion that I have for education, for how we can, the opportunity that we have in front of us with education and what we can do with education and how we take the internet and how we take the web and how we take all these tools that are available to us and really bring education to the next level. That passion is hard. It's not an easy thing to do. And sometimes you gotta travel on a Sunday to Montana and stay at a Best Western on Super Bowl Sunday and watch the Super Bowl by yourself. I don't love doing that. I'm passionate about education. I want to solve a problem. Anyone who's ever done anything that was major has never enjoyed it. It has brought them satisfaction. It has brought them happiness. It has brought them fulfillment. I travel 300,000 miles a year trying to convince people, trying to change some minds, trying to get people to look at education from a different point of view. And every once in a while, 
I get an email, I get a message, I get something that says, hey, I attended your session a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, two days ago, and it completely changed my idea on what I need to do in my school. And so as a principal, we started doing this two days ago, 12 days ago, two years ago, three years ago, and we're getting some amazing results. And that brings me happiness. That brings me joy. I can tell you, I don't remember how I got there or what event it was or what I had to do to get there and, and be part of that, but it was worth it. It led me to change someone's view, to change their point of view. And that's what I'm trying to do. So I've said this before, what I think you need to do is find a thing that you're passionate about. Find that problem that you're trying to solve and then figure out what your angle is on that problem. The learning part is easy. The learning, I mean, the internet is available to everyone. There's just the amount of tools that are available out there for you to learn is just insane. That's the easy part. The hard part is figuring out the problem you wanna solve, figuring out the thing that you're passionate about, figuring out the thing that keeps you up at night, figuring out the thing that spins in your head. And then the second hardest part is knowing yourself well enough to know how you wanna solve that problem. Knowing your limitations, knowing your strengths, knowing what you're good at, knowing your angle on a problem and how you wanna solve that problem. So welcome to Bozeman, Montana. Tomorrow I'm speaking at, at this event. And today, I'm gonna to enjoy the Super Bowl on my hotel room TV. All right, it's Monday morning and uh, headed to the event to speak. Luckily, the event is actually here in the hotel, so I don't have to go outside because outside it's minus six, minus six degrees outside. That's cold, but I don't have to go outside, so that's okay. All right, let's go do this. Welcome. How you doing? Good. Hi there, I'm Todd. Hi. Hey, how Thanks you Thanks so much for coming. Sure, man. sure. sure appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for having me. Luckily, we don't have to go outside, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, nice We're to gonna meet you. We're going to do your presentation yeah. outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be a two minute presentation. <laughs> so where do you want me to set up? We're Here? Right. So you're free to fly your drone okay. and stuff like that. Awesome. All right. Thank you. I want to give a warm Montana welcome to Jamie um, and Jamie Cassidy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done with the keynote presentation and then I participated on a panel where we talked about interesting things like data privacy and security, about what's the best way to deal with fake news and students and where they get resources. All right, so what I was talking about yesterday, uh, you know, that sometimes you gotta do what you're passionate about and it might not be something that you necessarily love. Part of that is you end up traveling to places that you might not wanna go to or on days that you might not wanna leave, right? So I had to come up here on a Sunday and miss Super Super Bowl Sunday at home in front of my nice TV set, but that's what you have to do. Now, being the half glass full guy that I am, I encourage all of you to be the same way. So what does that mean? Well, that means that when you're gonna be somewhere, you might as well take advantage of it. So my grandmother used to say, if you're gonna be somewhere, you might as well pay attention or make the most of it. And that's the philosophy I encourage all of you to have as well. So I'm in Montana. It is like negative five degrees, but somehow the sun is out. So let's take advantage of it. I gotta be here anyway. I'm gonna put on 75 layers of clothing, grab my camera and go out there and take pictures. What's the worst that can happen? Let's go find out. Okay, so all done in Montana, now comes a long journey back to Phoenix. 
and it's really a journey from minus five degrees to 61 degrees. That's what the journey is today. All right, so hopefully there's no snow, there's no bad weather, and we get home today. All right, let's start the journey. What? <sighs> Close the doors 10 minutes before your flight. So you literally have, you have five minutes to get there. All right, let's run. Excited to see you too. 